Good morning, it's 4 a.m. We're at the airport. This week's co-host is Tatiana. We're going to Mexico. Give them the itinerary for Mexico. Oh yeah, we're gonna show up to the airport in Mexico. I wanna see my uncle, he's gonna pick us up, and we're gonna go hang out for like two whole days in the city. And then after that, we're gonna go to Veracruz, which is where I'm from, and we're gonna see my pals and my grandmother and my mom, because she's moved there again. So we're just going to be traveling around the entire city of Mexico. 4 a.m. at LAX airport. My brain is rotting. It doesn't exist. You want to show them your child? Oh, yeah. This is, um, this is my son. His name is Cinnamon. What do you want to say to the camera? I love this guy. He's so funny. He's going to be two next month. Wow. What's, what's his favorite food? His favorite food is hot Cheetos. That doesn't seem suitable for a one-year-old. Well, that's too bad. He loves cigarettes. That doesn't seem suitable for a one-year-old. Two next month. Th that means he's one this month. One in 11 months. So, Mexico, I don't even know what to expect. Last time I went to Mexico was in April. Dude, did I tell you the story about... I mean, it might get juicy actually. So unfortunately, like going to Mexico, you can't dress drip down. Even though I have a 2006 Babe Cotton Candy size small luggage with laptop holder with me. You are not taking that out into society. But yeah, you can't dress drip down because you know, Smoking like. Is in areas Smoking is permitted inside the airplane. Oh. Yeah, you can't dress drip down because you'll get skinned alive. And they'll yeah. sell your Gucci slides. Like, that's, that's not even a joke. Yeah, th these are literally just 4 a.m. thoughts at the airport. Like, my mind is foggy. My mind is blank. What's on your mind? My mind is like Candyland. Like the game? Yeah, like like the board game. Yeah, or like Care A Lot from like the Care Bears universe. You know, when they're up in the sky and they're like, Care Bears count down, four, three, two, one. And then they're just like, in Care A Lot. I feel like Tatiana isn't real. Like, this is like a person that you make up in your head when you want to like... Like, I don't know. Like, we were going through, yeah, escape from the real world. We were going through security. And it's just funny seeing them, like, do security TSA checks on Tatiana because she wouldn't hurt a fucking, she wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm holding a, I'm holding a teddy. She's literally holding, she's holding a teddy bear like this. She's, like, walking through the security airport. And I'm like, dude, like, this girl doesn't exist. Like, you guys don't even need to worry. She's, she's not even real, you know? I cannot harm a single soul yeah but during mexico this is just gonna be a little adventure this is like the little intro interlude to get into the mexico videos that um it's our first solo trip yeah it's our first solo trip me and that together we, we've been to new york we've been to have we only been in new york you're like we've been here we've been just new york hey, look i'm gonna give you my itinerary it's it's mexico coming back to la and then going to miami Coming back to LA, then going to New York, then going to Vegas, then back to New York, then London, then Milan, then Paris, then back to LA. Are you gonna come to Rolling Loud? When is that? March 16th. It's my mother's birthday. That's Shut the fuck up. That's my mom's birthday. What? March, March 16th? 16th? Where was your mom born? Cordoba. Oh, my mom was born in Mexico too, but just not Cordoba. Yeah. Wow, did we just find out our moms had the same birthday? No wonder we get along so well. Oh. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. Why is it that every time I talk to a girl or have a girlfriend, why do rappers and famous people go into their messages? Like, did I tell you what happened earlier? So. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I know. It, it's, just, it's just so, I don't know, that they, you really have to have tough skin and strong bones and big balls to be with a bad bitch. It's really all I can say. Yeah, I mean, shit. If you want a baddie, you're gonna have to handle the baddie. Like, like you're really going up against like, m like, like the big dogs. Like you're going up against millionaires and like foos who are 35 who have their entire life settled. Okay. It, it just, it just means I gotta keep working harder. And then we, you know, who the other rapper? Y'all, I hate, I, I literally hate this industry because every time you want to talk to somebody, they've, they've, they've been around or they know these people who know these people and you can just never settle. It's just so sad. 
never become so famous. I'm so scared of relationships. Yeah, I'm scared of relationships too. This is a podcast. This okay. is 4 a.m. thoughts at the LAX airport. I like that. Um, yeah. What's the next topic? If you could eat any food forever, what food would it be? Do you want to guess? I want to guess pasta. It's pad thai. Oh. What nutritional value does that have? Shrimp. What? <laughs> protein. What, what, what's Cinnamon's favorite flavor of pad thai? He likes shrimp as well. Oh, he's a shrimper. I kind of I like beef. I'm not going to lie to you. Really? Yo, do they have pad thai in Mexico? I mean, I don't think so i mean maybe it's like randomly there i mean hey i had the best pad thai in my life in paris that's not where i expected to have the best pad thai in my life but it happened yo so i went to see that in mexico like two years ago and i had this fire restaurant it was like upstairs restaurant? yeah i owned a restaurant you had a fire no, restaurant I, I, I ate at a fire restaurant it was like up in a hotel i forgot the name but they had really good margaritas and i'm just so excited to go to see that in mexico what, what are we going to do with your uncle there? So when I went last year with my ex-novio, um, he took us, like, to all the cool places. Like, they have all these vintage stores. It literally looks like Brooklyn. Like, I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Like, when I went there, I was like, it's like Brooklyn, but, I like, did, Hispanic. Wait, we were literally leaving, packing at the house, and you said don't shop in Ciudad de Mexico. Mm-hmm. Not thrifting, because it's so expensive, because, like, that's, like, the only place you have to thrift is Ciudad de Mexico, you know? So it's, like, no one else is going to have thrift stores. I do feel that. Like, literally, when I went to Cordova, and I was just curious, I was looking up, like, does that even exist here? Mm. The closest one was in Ciudad de Mexico. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it, we got to find, like, a swap meet or something. It's a Sunday, right? Yeah, we can ask my uncle. He can take us everywhere. He's super cool. And is, is it, uh-huh. I was going to say, is it just me? Or why, why, when you break up with someone, you always get blocked? Like, like not you, but, like, me. Like, I always get blocked by my exes. Is that, like, a thing or in society, or is it that just me? I've blocked every single ex. All my exes are blocked. All three of them. Why? The first one, cheater. Second one, cheater. Third one, insane. I do feel that. What about you? Like, how so, so, my first one, um... I was actually the problem, not going to lie. So I, I see why I was blocked. What did you do? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. I was just a bad boyfriend. I was like in high school. And then I got out of high school and I was just, I was crazy. And then I, I came to my senses. Mm. And then the second one, she was crazy. Mm. And then now I'm on the third one. And maybe we're both a little crazy, so but it okay. works. It evens out. Yeah. The last one was nice. He was nice. He was just kind of like nuts, but like he wasn't a bad person. He was. No, kinda no. Crazy. He 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 was good. He was yeah, a good he was guy. A good per- he was a good person. He's just a little like I think he went off the rails. Like he went off the rails, but he's a good person. Yeah. Like deep down. Yeah. Wow, we're we're really hitting every topic of the toes yeah. with this toes. one. Where did that statement come from? Well, I was thinking of a hot tub, and I was thinking that you put your toes in a hot tub, and then body goes and then they get wrinkly. Well, yes, but your whole body goes in there. You know, you can bite your finger off like <coughs> like it was a carrot. Yeah, I tried that. Because, like, I was curious, but then it hurt, so I stopped. You think they got Whataburger in Mexico? Claro que no. It's called Que Burger. <laughs> <laughs> que Burger. I really, what, what's, like, your top food you want to try in Mexico? Everything. Like, the quesadillas are bomb, but um, Cordoba, like, I was telling Jared... They're well known for their coffee. Like, Veracruz in specific is like the capital of coffee. That's what it's called because, like, the, I don't know, like the cocoa beans. Okay, or whatever. the thing though, like, the capital of coffee, do they make iced vanilla lattes with oat milk or do they do like the black coffee with like mm, yeah, little splash of milk? Yeah, they do like the OG, like, el cafecito. And it's like, okay, like sleigh, but like, where's the oat milk? You know? Like, like that's cool. Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that's my question. Where's the oat milk? Where's the vanilla spice? They have one Starbucks in Cordoba. And I just go there. But Starbucks is canceled. We can't exactly. go. Exactly. So now we can't go. So it's like I'm kind of... We like, can't go on camera. We will not go. Yeah, so I, I just dropped this McDonald's video before. The, the Cactus Plant Flea Market plushies. And everyone's oh, mad. But, like, look... Wait, who's mad? 
Uh, if you look at the comments, people are like, hey, look like, yeah, look at the comments. Because I, I made a cameo in that video. Not I get dragged in there. No, no, it's, it's on it's on IG. You're not on the IG one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On YouTube, I feel like they don't really mind as much. I, I, f I feel like I should stop talking just, like, about this entire subject matter. On to the next one. So, how is Burger King still in business? Who knows? But they really love KFC in Mexico. Have you noticed that? They really love KFC in Mexico. Dude, yeah, they do love KFC. Like, like I remember when I would visit Mexico. Like, it'd be like a thing. Like, oh, vamos al KFC. Vamos al Kentucky. And it's like, bro. Like, I wouldn't eat this if I was in the U.S. But in Mexico, it's like a freaking delicacy. You feel me? Yo, so I did a Jubilee video today. Where it was me and four other Gen Z people. And we had to rate millennial people's outfits and they raided my outfit and they i was like last place really yeah but i like your outfit i like my outfits yeah. too i was wearing like 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 what i always wear you know i was wearing like a puffy jacket vest a shirt i was wearing baggy pants i was wearing some jeremy scott's like i am right now and then yeah they said they didn't like my outfit and that it was doing too much but hey at the end of the day I don't expect 35-year-olds to understand the swag. They don't, they don't know, live. They nah. don't know. The video is supposed to drop, like, next month, so when it comes out, I'll be super excited. I'm actually so tired, but I'm ready to go to Mexico. We have a very big trip planned. There's going to be a lot of vlogs coming out. But, again, this is 4 a.m. Thoughts at the LAX airport. I hope you guys enjoyed our miniature podcast. I'm What's gonna, that? I'm going to charge my cellular device. She's going to charge her device. I'm going to watch over Cinnamon. And we're going to be here binaminning. So thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want more podcasts, boing the boing, the like button. Follow us on socials. And the rest of the videos this week are going to be vlogs in Mexico. So bye. Ciao.